I'm just trying on my graduation outfit. Um, it's looking quite nice, but what I'm thinking is I'd like to make myself a dress that I can wear afterwards to go to the party. Maybe I could make myself something pretty. Would you like to come along and help me? So today we're going to make a owl dress. What I've done is I've cut out all the pattern pieces and I'm just taking the pins out. I made sure that my pattern was facing downwards on the same as so that it, the pattern all goes in the same direction. Just take the last pin out there. The pattern is going to be downloadable. So you can download your pattern and then come back, cut the pattern out using these type of scissors. Don't use your dressmaking scissors to do that. Okay, so here we have our pattern pieces. We're going to need the skirt, your two bodice backs, and your bodice, front bodice, and your two back pieces. I'm going to put the skirt to the side for one minute. Take your bodice and place it face up. Then take your two back pieces and match the seams up there and there. And then you're going to put a row of stitches across there and across there. Across there and across there. Make sure you've got your pattern with the right sides facing each other. It's going to put a pin into the fabric and then sew straight across on both pieces. Taking your two pattern piece, your two pieces, lay them one face up like so, and the other face down. Now, what you want to do is pin all the way around here, around here. So don't pin this piece all the way up here, around here around here, down there, then all the way around this piece here. When you get to your seams, try to nestle them together so that they're sitting one right on top of the other. So the next thing you want to do is sew now all the way around. You're going to come around here, like that, up here, along here, around there, down there, and then around here as well. Okay, you want to keep it on your quarter of an inch foot, which is what we're using at the moment. So I'm going to start by sewing along here. So I've sewn all the way around my fabric. Now what I need to do is take my scissors and make tiny snips all the way around where the fabric is curved. This will allow you to be able to turn your 
fabric and have a nice flat seam on the top around the neck and around the sleeves. I've snipped all the way around and one of the things that I didn't say before is you need to just take a snip there on that corner and then you'll get a nice corner. Then I'm going to use four steps but you can use a knitting needle or you can use tweezers. I'm going to take it through and place the four steps, hold the four steps there and I'm just going to gently pull it through the arm. And then pull it out and use your forceps in that corner where we just snipped off to push your fabric up or your knitting needle or whatever and you'll get a nice corner on the edge there. Okay, and then we're going to take it to the iron. Oh, we're going to bring the iron to us. I've got my little pad here. I'm just going to very gently go over the top. Make sure your iron is not too hot, especially if you're using poly cotton like I am, because it can burn quite easily. Just get it laid out there. I'm going to ask the lady this piece out and we're going to go all the way around. It's a nice flat. You see how lovely that edge is there? And here. Just going to put that to one side and whilst I've got the iron here I'm going to take my skirt, to place it on the pad, and I'm going to take a piece of cardboard with a quarter inch line drawn on it. And then I'm going to take my iron and press all along the line right to the end, so that that gives me one turn. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do exactly the same again, pressing all the way along so I've got my two turns on my hem. Okay. Whilst you're doing that you can also do the two pieces on the side, do your one turn and then your second turn. So you've got your quarter inch seam. Next what we're going to do is we've got our bodice here like so and what we're going to do now is pick up this piece of the bodice, take this piece here and pick up the back of our bodice and we're going to take the two seams and pin them together. If you can, see if you can get a seam, one to go one way and one to go the other. And just pop a pin in there. Then we're going to line those two pieces up, put a pin in there. And we're going to line those two pieces up and put a pin in there. And then we're going to sew straight across, just like that. And then that will be the bodice finish. You need to do that on that side and on that side. The, that will be the underarms of your bodice. So that, there you have the little bodice made. I am going to... I gave it a little press just here and here and it's looking all nice. So now I'm going to lay it on the table and I've taken my skirt and I've stitched just a striped stitch along here, striped stitch along the, all the way along the hem and a striped stitch here. Then I move to a tacking stitch and I stitch two lines of tacking stitches all the way across. Now what I'm going to do now is take the two top threads from this side and I'm going to ma marry them up here onto the bodice all the way along so that this will be the same size gradually gathering the skirt so that it all fits together. Make sure when you do it that you've got your gathers even all the way across the skirt and then we're going to pin it onto the bodice like this. So what I've done is I've gone all the way along and I've pinned the skirt to the bodice and then I've gone to the sewing machine 
I've done a striped stitch right the way along to the end and then I've come back across and I've zigzagged that stitch all the way along to make it nice and neat. So I can take out my pins and that should give you the skirt and the bodice together. Okay, so there we are. That's your skirt with your bodice. Now to finish it off, what you need to do is to come over here and to take the two ends of the skirt which will be loose on yours and put a straight row of stitching all the way up until you get to this piece. And then I like to just fold my two pieces back like that and stitch across the top there. And then come back don't forget to change your foot if you're using a quilter's foot and do some zigzag stitching just to keep that a little bit neater underneath there. Okay, then you can go ahead and take your scissors and tidy up any messy bits of thread on the inside of the skirt. And then we're going to turn the dress around, lay it down on the sewing machine and place some Velcros. You need to have one piece of Velcros on the inside of your dress and the other piece on the outside so this is the one on the inside this is the one on the outside okay I've got this lovely velcro from eBay it's much softer than the other one and it doesn't stick to the doll's hair so much so I found that one really works well but you can just use any velcros if you don't want to use velcros you could use a pop fastener you could use a hook and eye uh, but I find that works really well like that and that will just stick on like that. Uh, I've put two rows of stitching on mine because I find that when the children are pulling at it constantly dressing and undressing the dolls that it does tend to come away a little bit so it does help if you can put the two rows on and that is the dress finished. There we go. The one last thing I would say is just to go around and check where your skirt is you might find you have the odd stitch coming underneath so you can just take your quick on pick put it under the stitch and just pull that away and then you can just neaten that up on each side like so okay and there you go and there you have your dress so here is my finished dress i really like it i think it's going to be really nice for the party after the graduation I think it will be very pretty and it's going to be nice and cool because it's still quite warm. hope everybody likes it. I'll see you next time when we're going to come along and make some decorations to go on my dress and lovely embellishment and a nice hair slide to go in my hair in the matching material. Goodbye.